Good luck to both teams. All right, let's have a good clean match, boys. Cyber Nation versus Clangs and Tor. Final in three, two, one. Go, go, go. Okay. Not ready. There we go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, they're ready. There we go. We're all good. No. Uh, they're just fucking with us. Of course, they're just fucking with us. Go that go. Yeah, we're all good. Are they gone? Apparently, it was a a welder monkey that uh, didn't make it up. That's fine. Ah, uh, that's fine. They can go in later. Oh, yeah. Okay then. I bet you anything. If I click stream, I'm gonna just disconnect. But that's okay. I'm not the one actually running this. Is it, is it gonna go? Oh, my cam. <laughs> What's up? Alright. Well, I'm gonna try to get this on bot anyway. Yeah. Well, we were planning on swapping out the skybox before that. <laughs> For the entire tournament, fell them up stairs. And stuck the landing. Two broken arms. <laughs> That's fine. It adds care. Give it 8.5 out of 10. Cost yeah. <laughs> Impressive use of bones to break your fall. I do wonder what the map would be like if the map wasn't so 2D plane, if it was a bit more 3D. I'm just, I'm just curious, actually, if, if how it would play out. Yeah, me too. We've uh, never been able to successfully run something like that because every time we've tried, we've been uh, hit face first by some baffling issue. The first one was asteroids. The second one was uh, the blocker plates. If we have more than six of them, uh, people with weaker connections can't connect. <laughs> you know, and we so need on. To test that again, though, and uh, test it while we know the server is not having packet loss. Yeah, there's that. And there's also the uh, physics changes I made that might have been affecting it. Who knows? It's worth, it's worth trying. I do want to try it. Now that everything else is working perfectly, I'm happy, actually. The only problem is uh, network stuff. Quite pleased. And the only visual glitch from any weapon I fixed mid-tournament. Hey, Otto. Yo. Guy came back. Oh. Hmm. I guess I gotta ban him instead of kick him. Well, he's his so. up, so. Man, he has his up, so that doesn't mean he's a nice person. But I'd rather not. Curious to see what's happening here. They're still kind of holding in the formations, they're still kind of sticking together for now. Now engaging on Winfields. All three, once again, all four. Look at them. Winfields, Shields, holding pretty good. I think he might be possibly. Whoa, okay. Wow. It looks so is... good. So damn good. So many lasers. All the lasers. <laughs> yeah, this tournament kind of stands out as one where a lot of laser focus. The last couple that we've had have been a lot more particle spam. I'm looking for weapons that can hit fast moves. Sorry, I'm trying to have a bit of a collision there. Tumbling over each other. It's down on zero. Yeah, focusing on zero again, of course. Let's have a look. 85%. Yeah, zero has got the lowest health. He's on the run. He's probably trying to get a bit of. Uh, Respite there, trying to recover those shields even for a second. Winfield, Harry, all bearing down on Zero there. Whereas in the distance, we got Big Rig and Dimitri focusing on True Turnip. Hmm. Cybran do still have. Uh, well, actually, no. Interesting. KST have uh, have have more battle points actually. Less mass. Yeah, 
Definitely getting some visual uh, audio glitches a little bit. Getting some crackling. Oh, is but... it uh, grinding on it? You just need to beat your game because uh, that's the Space Engineer's audio engine uh, crashing. Ah, uh, yes. That does happen <laughs> somehow still. Yep. I'm okay. extremely familiar with that one. <laughs> I can only imagine bearing down on that, uh, digging into that code. Have a look here. True. Oh, uh, nah, I definitely. Nope. Cybran still looking. Just in the stats alone, looking stronger here still. Did you grab your eyes? Yes. Yes. I believe it starts at 2.5 and, and ends uh, at 45% of original damage. Two and a half kilometers, that is. Oh, there's a nice ram from Harry directly into Dimitri. What's the bark map? Sorry if you are hearing dogs barking. Nope, this road actually filtered that quite nicely. Nice. Dimitri, however. It's getting filtered right out of the game here. And he goes red, yeah. ship breaking apart. There we go, Dimitri first out. Decimated. Wasted. And that's, that's putting KST in a hefty lead in terms of battle points. Oh, hold on a minute. I've just, I've just, I've just suddenly clicked. I, yeah, KST are actually starting to win this. Can Cybran Nation Full now in the final. Let's see. Um, or maybe if they can get rid of. I think if it can, if they can get down one, if they can get rid of one more of Cybrand's ships. They're focusing on Big Rig now. Then this could be a win actually for KST. As I said, I called them the underdogs, but maybe, maybe they weren't after all. Yeah, KST have some of the best on their team. Winfield from Khan. Of course. A legend among the stars. Being knocked out in the first round, Robin losing against Cybron. This is the time for the revenge. There are legends among us. I'm going to delete you. <laughs> Go on, KST. I'm going to be so rich. All the tips. Un. Fortunately, oh. I deleted it because I thought we were shutting down Muzzle stream. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, the stream my... was shutting itself down repeatedly. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought we weren't gonna bring it back, so I was like, "Well, I better cancel this." <laughs> no worries, mate. Turnip, however, has been blown in half. Ooh, I'm all oh, willow. Yeah, Zero down turnip. They're quite far from the the zone here a little bit. Who's in, okay? You've always got. It's funny because you always end up with one of each play, one of each uh, team team's players in the zone. Of course, to hold that. That's what I've noticed a couple of times. You get like one on one in the zone, and the rest of the players are chasing the, each other outside the zone. Okay. Yeah, they're. Going after Zero. Zero is 62%. Persons is dropping though. I think I got Zero tracked, haven't I? No, I don't have him tracked. Okay. Let's see how well Zero can hold on here. James lost his afterburners. I've lost my, my camera. And most of his thrust by the looks of it. Yeah. 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 Zero shields down. He's, that means he's in trouble. It does look like he's drifting out. Leaving the yeah. battles battle zone in quite a quite a speed yeah, there. Yeah, but he's got enough left that he can repair. You think? Yeah. You can get one forward hydrogen thruster back online. From what I, I saw. Think that's what he was doing the first time. Is he took significant damage, went to repair, but then one of his teammates got killed while he was away. He went to kill Turnip, then got caught out by the swarm again. But if he can't get back in time. Thinking KSTs are gonna kind of bring this down to a one v one here in the zone. Focusing in this on this case, three v one. 
Uh, yeah. Because turnip. Oh no, turnip is there. Turnip's still going. 36%, and he's still bearing down on Big Rig really well, actually. Amazing. Big Rig can turn up 1v1ing off on the side. This might decide the match if Big Rig can get back to help out Novello. So turn it around, but if Novello's alone, he does not have the damage to take on the rest of KST. And actually, that Zero has come back. <laughs> Drift, <he's just laughs> he did. Else. He really Probably. looked like he was out of it, and he's somehow just kind of... Oh, Winfield's... Oh, hello. He can do that. You never leave Zero alone till he's red. Yep. You guys have been telling me that all night. You've got to fit, make sure he's there. Double tap. Mm. Yep. Yeah, field repairs is definitely a skill set that Zero has. He's amazing. Very good at that. Oh, yeah. I had a script that oh. um, piloted my ship when I hopped out of the cockpit. <laughs> when I went Poor to repair. Ship. I almost yeah, wouldn't I'm mind seeing a, a, a bit of a, a joke chart of, you know, the various pilots and what their, uh, you know, what their skill sets are as judged by other people. <laughs> A bit of a laugh, you know. For example, invalid yeah. uh, AI assistant. Um, oh, <laughs> they're targeting. I think they might be targeting Bello now. I don't know what people want to think about me. Brick. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, kill. it looks like KST has lost their cohesion. And they're just shooting out whatever's closest. It does seem that way. They should be. I feel like they should be still trying to focus fire and just pick them off one by one here. They've almost got a target each. Big rig's going off and it's... It... They still Ooh. have battle point advantage. They need to get that momentum back if they want to, you know, take it on over on Zybran. Oh, yeah. Turnip still flying at 26%. Incredible. Zero is technically alive, but uh, I think that's the end of him. I'm just gonna go right here any second now. Oh, he's up here, is he? Yeah, no guns think, anyway. I think he's really is gone. Wow. He's gonna be down to Novello. Pretty much. I think Big. Oh no, maybe Big Rig too, but Novello is pretty unscathed here, so maybe. Well, now he's. Shields are overheating. But he's got all. He's got at least two KST on him. Oh, missiles inbound. I do oh, love those hurt. Cylon Raider noises. I think you would use, <laughs> what was what was that projectile again? The Thanatos. Man, yeah, it sounds crazy. I'm just I hear it. I'm getting like nostalgia. This is gonna be so good with the daily tree dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Big rig still in it. He's, he's not dead. Yeah, yet. he's not dead yet. Indeed. No, look at that. Wow. Oh, Winfield using the interior shield as cover, but Big Rig gets around on top of him, just barely skimming the blocker plate. Nope. He catches it. Yeah, he felt that one. And that. Ow. This has turned Ooh. extremely bloody. Big Rig seems to have slowed now. Let's have a look. Oh man, Big Rig is incredible. Big, he's got a lot of thrust still, but he is definitely the the shape of his ship is is, is, is evaporated. I'd say, kind of a, a chunk of uh, bricks now. He's it's still like marble, got, you know. You just uh, take a big brick of marble and there's a statue inside of it. Exactly. That, that, that's that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he is in trouble now. Ship. Yeah, oh, look at that. There's a dead person inside. <laughs> yeah, Big Rig is getting finished oh, off there. Fast. Maybe. Yeah. Is that Zero coming back? I don't believe it. Is that Zero really? I'm just going to look at this. I think Zero is not out, actually. No, no, no. He's not. Actually, Zero is not out. He's actually trying to fly back to the zone with his uh, small thrusters there. 
his watches thrusters. helplessly as he uh, his his team is in the distance. He now during range, and then he can flip around the target. That Ooh. looks like a dead stick to me. Oh, he still four. has a couple of small thrusters. <laughs> So now we have all, all four KST on the velo. He's part of a, He's got great shields, isn't he? But they're about yeah. to go down. He's also letting fire through with open chunks in order to preserve his forward shielding. Wow. Against the Sanitos. Wow. And it's just a, yeah, a hefty build. It's built for, like... It's, it's built for survival. Yeah, it's, survival it's, built for, it's built to hold the zone. That's oh. its job. Oh, no! <laughs> Turnip has uh, become one with the Novello. Oh, he's inside. Yeah, oh, wow. Merged. Pushed into Novello. But that's actually very good because he's going to be ripping him up from the inside there. That's going to be cool. If, if he doesn't he's... have any guns left, he's, he's literally using his remains to shove Novello out. It's actually a physics desync. It's not actually clipping, but all the clients see it because there's client prediction. Hey, look at that. Set up a bunch of mods in order to prevent clipping. Novello actually drifts back in there. He avoids getting rammed out. Wow. Now it's just a matter, I think, of how long can he last. Turnip is literally just a thruster with a few blocks in the front of it. <laughs> yeah. If Turnip can ram him right, he can take out Novello's main drive. Go to integrity, Turnip. You don't need to live anyway. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a modulator anymore. It's funny. Wow. I'll just shut the shields down then. It's funny you've got these things about not phasing, because phasing is actually super deadly. Because the, the fact that Turnip is not phasing into that ship is probably part of the reason that he's not doing that much damage. Because phasing, you go in and you just start ripping up all the blocks, you know, when it starts catching up, I feel. You're like, yep. And it also heavily desyncs the player. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so that's why I was very keen on getting rid of that. <laughs> so does uh, The only way to get a good ram is get speed up, and he just doesn't have any. Yeah. Don't worry for GT3, we're mostly getting Starman. <laughs> <laughs> the future, the future of Starcore. Yep. We're gonna just move to every game with Star in the name, Star Base. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Please no. Star Citizen. Hell yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> I'll just commission Chris Roberts to make everyone ships. There you go. Buy him another yacht. Uh oh. I love that the Velo still has 70%, though. He's still hanging on. I feel like yeah, he's still gonna be alive for a while. Is, uh, Energy base. I believe he's using energy resistant armor. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, looking at it, the only thing shooting at him with kinetic damage are the Thanatos. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> An Artemis, I think? Maybe. How much does he have left? Almost his entire original armament. We might need to put on the uh, the push field for this one. Uh, according to Zox stream, we're under the two minute mark, so we're coming up on it. All right. I would expect KST to start uh, trying to knock out Novello's thrust, or at least his afterburner. He's turning specifically to avoid that. I feel, I feel like. Is... I uh, uh, right. Maybe oh. I should use MG armor in my ships. That's a good idea. And Harry gets the afterburner ram straight in. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, man. He's like <laughs> Harry committing seppuku on him. <laughs> He's out of the zone. He's out of the zone. That's looking really ugly. Oh, oh, oh. Can I get back in the zone? He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. That Harry's gone fully red now. Yep. Just need one grid. <laughs> Novella's saying, let's call it a draw. <laughs> I still got one minute left. <laughs> oh, this is tense. I mean, if you want to do that, Novella, just stay out of the out of the zone. Oh, he lost all gyros. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he has no gyros. gyros. <laughs> Terry killed his gyros. That's game. <laughs> it's all over. The, the dream is G -G dead. G G K S T. That's it.
KST victory. There it is. GG KST. Damn. Oof. Took a bit to get there. It did, it but... did. It was a long round, wasn't it? Right near the limit of the match time. Yep. Okay. I don't think that would have gone on much longer regardless. KST. That was an extremely well placed ram. Guys, let's see a ram applause in the chats out there for the runners up, Cybran Nation. Fighting to the end, the bitter end there. And of course, the champions of today's bi weekly Starcore tournament. Clang some tour. Beautiful. Cool.